All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's open some packs. What's it going to be? I've looked at most of the cards in this set, but uh, I haven't looked at, like, all of them yet, so... We'll see. And I'm still, I'm kind of getting back into the Hearthstone esports side of things. Like, getting back into, like, learning the meta decks and, and actually playing the game. I took a break because of all the Overwatch League stuff, but I missed it. So here I am. Taunt, Battlecry, Discover a Dragon. That's pretty solid. Alright. Seems good. Six for four eight. Pretty decent stats. You throw a Taunt in there. That's a good, uh, good minion. A little bit, uh, I mean, at the point it comes in the game, 4 attack is maybe a little bit low, but still overall, I mean, the power level stuff I've seen in this set so far has seemed pretty strong compared to, like, what I remember. So, yeah. I've also got a sub goal because I'm actually streaming now, so sub to me. Sub to me, baby. That's right. Hey, what's up, Nicole? How's it going? Play whatever the auto builder decides to make for you? Oh, man. Should I just do that? Auto builder challenge and see how far I can get in the ladder? The funny thing is I haven't played in like a long time. So uh, I'm probably starting back at like Angry Chicken level 25 or whatever it is. But we have 100 packs to open and then we'll see if we have time. Um, I might not uh, play too much today. We'll see. Uh, Learn Draconic. I like the side quests. Spend 8 mana cells on a 6-6 six, six dragon. Oh, that's solid. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't start in your starting hand, these uh, side quests, but that's still cool. Scale Rider, 3-for-3-3. Three three, three. You know, as a, as a long-time Magic the Gathering player, the first thing I look is the mana cost compared to the power. I kind of ignore the, the box text. So 3-for-3-3 three three, three already. I'm happy with that. Uh, Battlecry, if you're holding a dragon, deal to damage. That's really solid. Uh, any any dragon deck is going to run these, I would imagine. It just seems like a good mid-range deck. Unless you have some sort of funky objective with your dragon deck, that is. That doesn't require you to have sort of early mid rangey stuff. 4 for 4 to equip one of your destroyed weapons. That's kind of cool. All right, so you get the attack equal to the mana cost. It's not bad. Low health, but you get a weapon back. So theoretically, you're getting a lot of offensive power for just 4 mana. Body on the board and a weapon, which is pretty nice. Yeah. So probably get an early weapon since you're going to be playing this fairly early. Blood Sail Flybooter. 1 for a 1-1 one, one, and 2 one, 1 Pirates in your hand? Wow, that seems quite good. Uh, huh. I'm guessing those pirates probably also cost one, although I haven't haven't seen it, so I don't know for sure. But still, one for one one, then you get two more one ones, you can show up an early game, get some extra pirates out if you're playing the pirate tribe, so I like it. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Yeah, see the funny thing is like uh, uh I've forgotten a lot of the, the stuff that existed. Because the last time I casted uh, Hearthstone was 2016. And I played a little bit uh, since then, off and on. I played casually, but I hadn't. I've, I haven't really kept up with the pro scene. But it's time to get back into it. I missed Hearthstone, so here I am. Six for six six. Give your other mech stealth until your next turn. That's kind of cool. I'm sure there's some uses for that. Zero mana. Add a lackey to your hand. All right. Interesting. Taking a little bit of a, a gamble there. It's not discover a lackey. It's just add a add a random lackey. Um. And lackeys are something that have come out since uh, the last time I really took a close look at this game. Invocation of Frost. Freeze an enemy, invoke Galakrond. Alright, cool. A little invoke card. Get to freeze an enemy for one mana. Solid. I'm looking forward to trying out some Galakron uh, decks at some point. Diving Griffin. 3 for 4, 1. Rush. That's always good. Battlecry, draw a Rush minion from your deck. That's cool. 3, you get a little bit more power for it. It's going to die, but you're going to be able to run into something. So, essentially, it's a... It's, uh, in theory, it's a spell that does 4 damage to a minion and lets you replace the minion you played in your hand. Awaken, invoke Galakrond, deal 1 damage to all minions. Alright, uh, I, I assume. Um, I haven't looked at all the uh, power levels of Warrior Galakrond, but uh, invoking seems to be solid. 1 damage to all minions for 3 mana is, you know, with the invoke, I guess that might be okay. Seems a little bit expensive, but again, like... Uh, I'm a little bit out of touch with, with the game at the moment, so don't take my word for it. Soul Direct Ritualist, 4 for 3, 9. Alright, decent stat line, taunt, always good. Uh, summon 3 random 1 cost minions for your opponent. Ooh, that could uh, that could be very good or very bad. I uh, I would shy away from using this one. That seems seems a little bit, uh, a little bit risky. 6-6, uh, six, six, that one we've already seen. 
The packs will get open faster as I as I see cards multiple times. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, thins out your desk deck is also good. Oh yeah, Zilliax as well. That's a good point. Thank you for joining. You're going to you're gonna fill a lot of the the knowledge gaps that I have from the last couple of years. Uh, deal one damage to a random minion. Repeat for each card in your hand. All right, sure. Could be very good. There, are, uh, whispers of evil, candle breath, six mana. Draw three cards. Costs three less for holding a dragon. Yeah, three for three cards in theory is is really good. Solid cards. Although I never, I've never liked playing rogue. The last time I really played rogue was when that like dirty uh, T six rogue was uh, popular. At least that's what they called it in Korea. They call it T six rogue because you just won by turn six. But that was the old hyper damage finish with Leroy deck. Four for a five seven overload two spell damage plus one yeah solid dragon giving you the spell damage. Ooh, golden common. I'll be dusting you later. I always dust all my gold cards because I'd rather just like have cards that I don't have than shiny versions of cards. Like they look cool, but I'd rather just have more deck building options. So I usually just dust all my gold cards. As long as I have two normal ones, you know, of course. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Ooh, interesting. Uh, Alright, what's next? It's going to be a rare. Give yourself to the river. Thanks for the follow. El Elamalumu. I think I pronounced that perfectly. Uh, 4444, Dragon Mop Poacher, Battlecry. If your opponent controls a dragon, gain 4-4 four, four and rush. Wow. Huh. Very conditional. But um, I like that they have anti-dragon cards in the, the dragon expansion. That's neat. Because there, there is a place for these kinds of cards, depending on what you're seeing on your part of the ladder, right? Because as you go through the different ranks, the stratification of decks you're going to hit is going to change, obviously. So there's probably times where you'll want to include this. Uh, maybe even the pro scene, depending on the, the decks that become really meta. Um, I haven't looked at the early decks in the last couple days that have emerged, but like the decks that come out in the first couple days of an expansion are usually like 100% different a week later anyway, so I, don't, I never really pay that much attention to the really early uh, decks that come out. I just kind of like to build my own. This time it's probably going to be a little bit different because I don't have the um, background from previous decks to go off of. So I'll probably do some net decking initially. Four for two five has plus two attack for each dragon in your hand. Okay, interesting. So it does tell your opponent how many dragons are in your hand, um, but could also be a good value. So it's not too bad. Neat. Emerald Explorer. Taunt. Uh, oh yeah, we talked about that one before. Yep. All right. So I'll go again. Only ninety five to go. It's gonna take a while. I'm going to go and eat in a little over two hours, and I figure we'll probably get through all the packs by then. But I thought, you know, if I'm going to be opening all these packs, why not chat about it with other people and, you know, just kind of stream it. All right, Dwarven Sharpshooter, your hero, tar can tar your hero power can target minions. Wow, that's pretty good. I can definitely see times I'd want to put that in a Hunter deck. Uh, Taunt 7-7 seven, seven, can't be targeted by spells and hero powers. It's a dragon. I think that's the biggest, that's the best thing about it. Um, otherwise, good value. Um, great ability for, for the, the value. So, might, might not be a value to put one or two of those. If you're going for like a late game, like I have no idea like how Dragon Warrior looks right now in the meta, but uh, old Dragon Warrior, you did generally like with most Warrior decks go to the late game, so it might be decent. I'm excited about playing Pirate Warrior this expansion though. Sand Breath, uh, plus one, plus two. Divine Shield for Holy Dragon. Ooh, that's really good for one mana. Wow, that's a great card. Um, yeah, that's awesome. One, two, and Divine Shield for one mana. Man, that's strong. Any Paladin deck should be running both of those. Uh, six for five, five. Utgard, Grapple Sniper. We're going to Northrend. Uh, both players draw a card. If it's a dragon, summon it. Ooh, neat. All right, well, again, depending on how many uh, dragon decks are, are out in the meta, you might be getting a bunch of dragons for your opponents, too. You don't want to give them a Sarah or something, but um, I might consider trying this one. Yeah. Target minions, I know. Yeah, that's not that's not smorking people. That's not going to the face. Betraying everything that Hunter holds dear. I disagree completely with that card. <laughs> Corrosive Breath. This is the Hunter Breath card. Deal three damage to a minion. If you're holding a dragon, it also hits the enemy hero. Hmm, all right. So two, da uh, two mana for potential six damage. Uh, that's a nice uh, tempo swingy kind of card. It's pretty solid. Good for two mana early in the game. There's another Bloodsail Flybooter. 
Big ol' whelp. Five for five, five, battle cry, draw a card. Great. That's awesome. I mean, that's just a good, solid card. Five, five body for five mana, and you get to replace it in your hand. Awesome. Four for two, three, Azure Explorer. Spell damage plus two, battle cry, discover a dragon. All right. Neat. Yeah. It's a, uh, you know, high cost for the mana, but you do get the spell damage. You, get to, you do get to discover a dragon. Like I said, I'm not totally familiar with what mage has access to right now. Yeah, the new Ysera, maybe. Um, that's a maybe. We'll put on that one, too. Breath of Dreams. Draw a card. If you're holding a dragon, gain an empty mana crystal. Hmm. All right. And I've heard that... Uh, I don't I don't have this confirmed. Maybe chat can confirm this. But I've heard that if you draw a dragon, if you even if you don't start with a dragon in your hand, you still gain the mana crystal. So... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I read that. I read it on Reddit. I don't know if it's true. The person said they tested it. Maybe you can confirm. Someone was really, really mean to you? Aw. Oh, bummer. They should be nicer. Another big ol' whelp. Disciple of Galakrond. One for one, two. Good stats. Invoke Galakron. Nice. I put it in. If I was running a Priest Galakron deck, definitely two of those. Uh, Elemental Allies. Thanks for the follow. The Blevins. Hey, podcast extraordinaire. How's it going, man? Uh, elemental allies side quest play an elemental two turns in a row draw three spells from your deck Ooh, that seems like a based on the deck that seems like a pretty easy thing to uh, fulfill it's a legendary Shuma at the end of your turn fill your board with one one tentacles okay <laughs> all right I mean he's got seven health he might live for a while he does cost seven mana um, it's interesting I'm sure there's some uh, some funny buffing, buffing stuff you can do. He is a neutral card. This is one of those cards where you just are like, could I build a deck around this? Could I find a way, even though it's only one of in my deck, could I find a way to like get him consistently somehow and then uh, break this? Maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a way. Sky Raider. This card is insane. One for a one-two. I saw this one earlier. Battlecry, add a random pirate to your hand. That's uh, That seems... For a pirate deck, that seems very strong, and you get the one-two body for one. I love it. Pirate warrior, probably gonna be the first deck I try. Yeah, what's up, Jusaw Sauce, and uh, Gizzy Bear? How's it going, man? Yeah. We got one legendary already. Time Rip, destroy a minion, invoke Galakrond. All right, for five mana. I mean, that's uh, pretty much. That's a little bit cheaper than, uh, what's the, it's a six mana for the Rogue Destroy a Minion, right? If that card is even still, still in standard, that was like a classic card, I don't even know anymore. Anyway, five for Destroy a Minion and Invoke, solid. I'll learn Draconic. All right, we saw this one already. Fiendish Rites, Invoke Galakron, give your minions plus one attack. All right, for three mana, that could be a lot of power for a three mana, that's good. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of cards that I'm just like, meh about and I've heard that the strength of this expansion is actually really strong comparably yeah pirate warrior should be pretty cheap uh, generally pirate decks should be pretty cheap and, and rush e tree enforcements choose one give a minion plus two health and taunt or summon a two two treant okay well one for a two two first off fine early game um, otherwise giving a minion plus two health can mean the difference between keeping a minion or losing it so that could be solved as well for one mana, again, seems like it seems like an include, but again, without knowing the full pool right now for the classes, uh, I'll just say no. That's interesting. Uh, no tribe with this, but one for a 2-2. There might be some tempo decks that might want to include something like that. Second Sky Raider, that's good. We'll see. Who do I think will fall and rise in Overwatch League next season? I don't even know, man. With all the changes that have happened, I don't even want to try to predict it at this point. Who even knows? I think Soul actually looks pretty strong um, because they picked up Gesture and uh, Prophet, but who knows, right? Who knows, man? Uh, that's right, Legendary Weapon, yeah. Uh, isn't it Ankar? I think it is. Uh, Grave Rune, give a minion, Death Rattle, summon two copies of this. Ooh, wow. Hmm, I like that. For four mana? Yeah, I'll take it. That'd be one. To, that'd be a fun card to uh, play around with. I think arcane breath, deal two damage to a minion for one mana. If you're holding a dragon, discover a spell. Strong. That seems strong. All the all the breath spells seem pretty solid. 
Living Dragon Breath. Three for three, four. Your minions can't be frozen. Hmm. Okay. Uh, conditionally good. Um, either way, a good body. It's like, uh, oh, what was the... Wasn't there an ape that was uh, a blank three for three, four? I'm trying to remember. Either way, it seems like a, an upgraded version of whatever vanilla three for three, four is out there. Because I'm sure there is one. Or at least there was one anyway. Yeah, Dynasty's been disappointing, but uh, I think this year might be better. We'll see. And another Emerald Explorer and Corrosive Breath. Cool. Dust for the other cards. Yeah, there's a 3-4 Taunt and Warrior, but I'm talking about neutral cards. There was... I feel like there was one a long time ago. Fiendish Rites, Grave Rune. Probably start to see less ones that we haven't seen before as we go on. Cobalt Spellkin, 5 for a 3-5. All right. Add two one-cost spells from your hand, or from your class, to your hand. Huh, okay. Uh, I'm glad it's a neutral card. That's that's a card that could be fairly versatile. Um, if you think about putting this in, just from what we've seen already, if we put this in, like, Dragon Paladin, that could be pretty good, actually, because you could grab that one... Uh, you could grab the one-cost card that gives one-two in Divine Shield, and then you have the uh, dragon... Well, you don't have it in your hand anymore, I guess, but, you know, theoretically you'd have another one, but... Either way, I, I, I think about using that. I think that's probably going to be a, an include. Surging Tempest, one for one, three. Has plus one attack while you have overloaded mana crystals. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. That's, that's a solid card. Epic Sanctuary, two mana, side quest. Take no damage for a turn. All right. A little bit risky, a little bit tougher to do something like that. Uh, reward, summon a 3-6 minion with taunt. Okay, so theoretically a 3-6, but you have to take no damage for a turn. Since it's something that is sort of out of your control, it makes me a little bit wary to try to include that. A free 3-6 taunt is strong, though, so... Yeah, we'll see. That that might be an include. Yeah. Good in Dragon Mage, too, that's right. Yeah. I would imagine Mage has always had a lot of good one-cost spells. There is an Azure Explorer. Scale Rider, yep, talked about him already. Good neutral. Uh, Storm's Wrath. 1-4, uh, give your minions 1-1, one, one, overload 1. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that seems pretty strong. You pair that with the elemental we just saw, so suddenly it's going to be a 3-4 for 1. Uh, no, it's going to be a 3-4 uh, with 1 overload from playing this uh, for 1. So, that's decent. Dragoncaster, alright. That was my nickname. In co no, it wasn't actually. 6-4-4. Uh, for four, four. If you're holding a dragon, your next spell this turn costs zero. Well, that could be insane with mage. Wow. Okay. It is six for four four, so you're starting to kind of like dip down in that uh, power curve at that point in the game with the mana. But uh, I think the the potential ability could be could be really good, uh, depending on what's in your hand. Another great room. That's good. Hmm. Blazing Battle Mage, that one for a 2-2. Two, two. That's just a good neutral minion. Another Disciple of Galakron. Firehawk, uh, plus one for each card in your opponent's hand. Conditionally solid. It is an elemental. That's the important thing, that it has a tribe, at least. Bad Luck Albatross, three for a 4-3. Shuffle to 1-1 one, one Albatross into your opponent's deck. Oh, I like that. So they just draw, like, a random 1-1 one, one later in the game. That's cool. I like that. It's... Wow. Okay, it's 3-4-4-3, four, 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 three, and then it has a really good Death Rattle, and it's a beast. Hmm. That's just a good and known card, I think. It's got the Beast Tribe. It's got a positive power to mana ratio, and it's got a good ability. It seems like a strong card. Twin Tyrant. Battlecry, deal four damage to two random enemy minions. You had me until random. But it does have ten health. So, uh, yeah. Eight for a four ten. That's That's strong. It's hard to get your brain to get out of uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds mode, where you're seeing, like, 48-48 um, amalgams every turn, or whatever it is. Yeah, you're not... That's It's a bad luck thing, right? Because it's bad luck to draw 1-1 one, one minion in the mid to late game. So it actually... Yeah, you're not you're not benefiting them. That's, that's hurting them to give them a 1-1. One, one. That's basically just giving them a dead draw. So it's like guaranteeing... Or not guaranteeing, but... Giving the possibility of a, of a dead draw for two turns for your opponent. Essentially a dead draw. Should be pretty dead. A one for one one. A freeze an enemy, invoke Alicron, Ridgewell, we get that. <laughs> like the camouflage, that's great. Primordial Explorer. Three for a two three. 
Uh, poisonous, that's good. Battlecry Discover Dragon, wow, all right. The Poisonous is really what puts it over the top. Three for a two, three is, is good. Um, doesn't really matter what the power is, if it's poisonous, I guess, as you kind of treat it as a uh, destroy a minion next turn for three mana, and then you get to replace it in your hand, so that's good. I like it. Uh, stowaway, five for four, four. If there are cards in your deck that didn't start there, draw two of them. Hmm, interesting. All right, and, and it's five, so it's going to come a little bit later in the game. Four, four, so it's a decent body. Hmm, that's really cool. I like it. Yeah, Sky Raider. Love it. I'll be dusting that one. That was my third one. Give yourself to the rhythm. Uh, thank you, Ball and Lolan, for the uh, follow. Appreciate it. Goblin Tech. Goblin Glide. Gobbo Glide Tech. Three for three, three. Again, stats for mana. I like it. Battle Cry. If you control a mech, gain plus one, plus one, and rush. Oh, interesting. A mech tribe card. Okay. Um, I have no idea about uh, the popularity of mech decks right now in the current meta, um, but if there is a good mech deck out there, this would be solid. Three mana for four damage to a minion, potentially a leftover body. Praise Galakrond. One, four, a give a minion plus one attack, invoke Galakrond for rogue. All right. That's probably, probably one you want to include. It's an easy combo starter. It's just a nice little benefit. I think the real benefit of this card is going to be as a combo starter in Rogue. Uh, and the Invoke, of course. Uh, Zuldrak Ritualist. Four for three, four. Oh, yeah, that's the one we talked about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, D&D &D was insane. Like, well, she was a threatening uh, She was a threatening lady. Like, I, I, had to, I had to do it, you know? Unfortunately, we kind of caused the end of the world uh, in the end. So, uh, our bad. Evil Quartermaster. Three for a two, three. Add a lackey to your hand, gain three armor. I like that it's kind of evil versus explorers. That's All that stuff is new since I was uh, casting Hearthstone. Parachute bring in. Two for a two, two. After you play a pirate, summon this minion from your hand. Oh, okay. All right, so a free two, two, theoretically. I'd probably use it. Four for a two, two. Rush, battle cry, invoke Galakrond. Huh. It's neutral, so everybody gets an invoke, which is nice. But four for a two-two, even though it does have rush, I don't know. I I don't know the overall strength of invoking. I'm, I suppose there could be decks that would use this, but I I'm not so sure about that one. But again, I lack the proper information to make a, a good call on that. Yeah. Between me and Monty would be League of Eagle, Evil, and who would be the League of Explorers? Well, obviously, Monty would be League of Eagle, Evil, and I would be League of Explorers. That's, I mean, I don't know. He, I, I'm, I'm not evil. He's not evil either. But I think if we had to choose on a cosplay, I think I know the direction that he'd go. I'm not sure. I think he would want me to choose evil for him. Perhaps. Ritual Chopper. Uh, invoke Alacron for a 1-2. All right. Yeah, solid early weapon. I suppose. Cosplay Dr. Boom, yeah, it's possible. A rare. Skyclaw, three for one, two. Your other mechs, oh, it's another mech card. Your other mechs have plus one attack. Battlecry summon two microcopters. Okay. Hmm. So theoretically, it's three for, um, it's three mana for three, four worth of health. Uh, two one ones and a one two. Um, and I would imagine those microcopters are also mechs, so... It would actually summon if I'm if I'm uh, deducing how this card would work. It would because it says your other mechs have plus one attack, not uh, gain it from a battle cry or something. So the battle cry would summon the two 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 one one microcopters, and then they would both get plus one attack. So it would be uh, a total of five and four five power four toughness for three mana. So theoretically, that would be good. Plus whatever mech buffs you have going. Ooh, a bronze explorer. Discover a dragon for uh, three mana. And it has lifesteal. All right, not bad. Not as good as a poisonous one, but I guess uh, Paladin's going to Paladin's gonna Paladin, right? Four for five, four. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. All right. Yep, kind of a giant uh, a giant little, uh, what are they called? Not not failing, the original. The two for two, the two for three, two with can't be targeted. You know what I'm talking about. It's a big version of that. It's been a long time. Fairy Dragon, that's the one. Thank you, Blevins. Yes. As you can see, it's been a while. 
Uh, grave Rune. Abyssal Summoner. Six for a 2-2. Two, two. Summon a demon with taunt and stats equal to your hand size. Huh. All right. Um, if you're playing like a big hand lock style like uh, people used to play, obviously you could have a very large taunt demon. Um, the mana makes it a bit prohibitive because when I'm spending six mana on a turn, do I want more than just a big beefy taunt? Um, and the answer might be yes sometimes. So I think it's I think it's a probably a card that you could certainly try on some decks, but that that might be an, like an early cut maybe. Not sure. We'll try it out. Yeah. New Warlock Legendary. Um, this one just kind of creates one, right? Clear the way. Side quest. Summon three rush minions. Summon a 4-4 four, four griffin with rush. Alright, cool. Neat. Yeah. I know, right? Like, uh, this is... the Hearthstone is just a battleground side game now. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Oh, max hand size becomes becomes twelve. Well, that could be that could be big then. Yeah, you could combo that, I suppose. That's a good point. Breath of the Infinite. Uh, deal two damage to all minions. We're holding a dragon. Only damage enemies. All right, that's neat. I like that. Uh, it's it doesn't invoke. So warrior has a three for one damage to everybody. Um, but all enemy minions, I believe. But it does invoke. So interesting kind of counterpoint to that card. Rights and Prince Galakron and Toxic Reinforcements. <laughs> that is that is a great picture. I like it. Just tossing the leper gnomes in there. Uh, use your hero power three times. I think I think a hunter can probably do that. Summon three one one leper gnomes. I love it. But I wonder if they're the are they the leper gnomes that do damage to your opponent? That's the question. If they are, that'd be insane. Yeah. Let's see. Flybooter. Uh, clear the way, we just saw that one. Uh, so Hunter's got multiple side quests, that's cool. Sand Breath, this is a really good one. Um, Invocation of Frost, yep, alright, so all stuff we already have. Probably go quicker as uh, time goes on. What's this? Phase Stalker, 2 for a 2 3. After you use your hero power, cast a secret from your deck. Oh, that's neat. Alright, I like that. Secret Hunter was one of my favorite, like, silly decks to play back in the day, so maybe it's time to rebuild it. Big old well, blood sail fly booter, blood sail fly booter. Oh man, so many blood sail fly booters and a golden blazing battle mage. What do you know? What do you know? They are the leper gnomes that do two damage to your opponent. Well, then that's amazing. Then that's like a fantastic side quest. That's really good. And that's not the epic one. All right. Strength in numbers. Uh, druid card. Spend ten mana on minions. Summon a minion from your deck. Yeah, it could be solid. Could put some big stuff in druid. Usually there is big stuff in druid. Evasive Worm, 6 for 5, 3. Oh, I'll get to you. Oh, we've already seen Cobalt Spellkin. Cobalt Dustkin, as uh, I will be dusting that gold minion. Yep. Uh, and then Divine Shield Rush, can't be targeted by spells uh, or pure powers. Well, that's, that's really good for 6 mana. Yeah. Because you get to basically do 5 damage to a minion, keep a 5, 3 that can't be targeted. I like it. It's strong. Yeah, I think the other one that I looked at was rare. Uh, the epic one was the, in my opinion, possibly worst one. But again, like I'm not going to make any any big sweeping judgments on any of these cards right now, just because again I'm I'm like lacking the uh, total context of the the available pool right now. Oh, I like this Violet Spellwing, Death Rattle. Add one Arcane Missiles to your hand. One for one, one. Cool. I didn't sleep very much last night, so I'm yawning a lot. So apologies. Tasty fly fish. Give a dragon in your hand 2-2. Two, two. two for 2-2? Two, two? Yeah, that's good. Seems like uh, if you're running a dragon deck, you might run that. Thanks for the follow, Alan Nix. Uh, dragon Breeder. Choose a friendly dragon, add a copy of it to your hand. Wow. Hmm, that seems extremely good in certain circumstances. Uh, Shrubador. Shrubadier. Shrubadier. Like Bombadier, but with shrubs. Shrubadier. Uh, 2 for 1-1. One, one. Summon a 2-2 two, two, treant. Alright, so you get 3-3 three, three for 2. That's, uh, that's strong. Probably good if you're going to be playing Druid. Yeah. Yeah, Custom Jake. It'll be uh, cool to see them on the Overwatch League. Um, and, uh, yeah. I think they I think they're, they made the right uh, decision. Yeah. I think uh, Custom will be great on the desk. And Jake, uh, you know, 
Jake has a lot of insight to share, and and uh, he's been he's been improving, so he's good. All right, let's see. Face Stalker again. Uh, Amber Watcher five for a four six. Restore eight health. Ooh, that's good. Wow, five for a four six. Eh, pretty good stats for the mana, but restoring eight health is is pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, was a fly booter. Uh, let's see, disciple of Galakron. Casting is not a, an easy road, though. Um, there's a lot of travel next year, obviously. But then suddenly, every when you're a pro player, you can say stuff, and and people, you know, generally will react favorably to it because you're a pro player and you have that status. Um, where he now he is a former pro player, and he's a caster, so people are going to be much more critical of everything he says. Which, which can be annoying to deal with sometimes, even if he's right. So I'm sure he can handle it, but there's you know there's pros and cons to, to both sides of the uh, the stage. Yeah, Evasive Chimera. Um, two for a 2-1. Poisonous. Can't be targeted by spells of your powers. That's cool. Sniper 2-1. Uh, All right, Tasty Five Fish. Strength the Numbers, Amber Watcher. I like the Amber Watchers. That's a neat card. Yeah. I thought Custer played pretty well last year, honestly, but um, he's a great personality, so I think he's going to be awesome on the desk. Scale Rider, three for three. Oh yeah, we we checked on that right. Face of Draconid, Corrosive Breath. Going to be hitting a lot of uh, repeats now. Start using the space bar. Any new ones? Uh, Wormus Purifier, two for a three two. Transform all neutral cards in your deck into random cards from your class. Huh. That's that is interesting. I mean, there's there might be some gimmicky stuff you can do with that, um, but it's interesting at least. Just gonna open them all up right now. Another good bad luck albatross. I like that. Uh, Hippogriff taunt rush. That's cool for a four six. Um, for a two six rather. And squall hunter. Yep, talked about that one already. We'll go through the repeats pretty quickly. Uh, Molten Breath. First time you've seen the Warrior Breath. Uh, deal 5 damage to a minion. If you're holding a dragon, gain 5 armor. Alright, that's neat. Kill a, a decent sized minion in theory and gain 5 armor. Yeah, that's a nice swing. Good swingy sort of uh, card. I like it. Yeah, that's true too. All right, let's see. Anything new? Nope. Epic. Embiggen. Zero mana. Give all minions in your deck plus two, plus two. They cost one more. Huh. That's interesting. Interesting. It's not... You know, you're not going to be able to get it consistently early, but that that's a very cool card to think about. That's a neat one. I'm going to have to keep that one in mind. Yeah. Dragonblight Cultist. 3 for 1-1. One, one. Invoke Galakron. Gain plus 1 attack for each other friendly minion. That's eh, okay. That's like, it's kind of kind of meh. I suppose the Invoke is probably the best thing about it, but... Yeah. Ooh, oh. Dragon's Horde. Discover a legendary minion from another class. Oh, Rogue. Oh, Rogue. You know you had to do it to us. That could be a fun card to play with, though. Suddenly Tyrion Ford Ring pops out. Yeah, I, I do think that card is too pricey. For something that can just die to a one mana AoE, right? Yeah. That's that's definitely one of the one of the like lesser ones I've seen today so far. Hot air balloon. At the start of your turn, gain one health. Alright, that's kinda cool. Because in I mean one of the nice things in Hearthstone is that you can exceed your maximum health. So that's a... Uh, that's uh, a card that during the early game, if you're going for some, you know, tempo and you're playing a little bit quicker, uh, and you want to be more face and aggressive, um, I would consider putting that in there. It's pretty neat. It's a mech too, so it's got all the stuff with that. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't work on tokens. That's a good point about him bigging. Uh, all repeats. Oh, except for Seal Fade. Deal three damage to an undamaged character. Invoke Galakron. All right, three for three damage. Um, conditional that there has to be an undamaged character out there. That's that's a risky pick, I think. So it comes back to the invoke again, I guess. I suppose if the meta changes, maybe the embiggen will be a little bit 
more uh, appealing. But yeah, tokens are always... It seems like there's always a token druid deck in every meta. Deal 3 damage to a random enemy minion. Eh, that's... That's okay, I guess. 3-3 three, three for 4 and 3 damage to a random enemy, but... There's not... Uh, I probably wouldn't include it too much. Who knows? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Anything new? Nope. Almost halfway through. 62 packs to go. Face Stalker. Alright, we've seen all this. I have like a billion Blood Sail Flybooters. Yeah, you'd run Backstab. But remember, uh, if you Backstab, you can't use the other one because it has to be an undamaged minion. So I, I just worry that um, if you... Uh, those cards are most useful in the early game, generally. If you go into the mid game and you've got minions out, there's going to be a lot of damage flying around. Um, so I would hate to be in a situation where I have this card, but I can't use it because there's no undamaged minions on the other side. So it's... I, I think it's still worth trying out, but I, I have my doubts about that one. I could be wrong, but... I'm just not feeling that one as much as some of the other ones. To be fair, I've probably pl uh, played Rogue and Priest the least out of all of the classes. Epic. Umbral Skulker. If you invoke twice, add three coins to your hand. Wow. Nice. And Sky Barge. Um, mech. After you summon a pirate, deal two damage to a random enemy. Oh, okay. So it's like the old pirate cannon, basically. Um, it's got a little bit more health. I like it. That's strong. It's got the mech tribe if you want to use that. Yeah. You probably have to run pretty much all the invokes if you're running uh, a Galakrond deck, don't you? I haven't seen how much, if like there's enough invokes to skip some or not, but... Uh, Alright. Lightforge Crusader, if your deck has no neutral minions, so it's another Highlander card. Interesting. Alright. Got five random Paladins cards to your hand. Wow. Nice. Sand Breath is good. Uh, Plate Breaker. I saw this one earlier. Th this is kind of conditionally interesting. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of times you'd really employ it unless you really know you're gonna go against a uh, like a, a warrior or I don't know if druids have the access to a lot of armor right now legendary it's bander smosh <laughs> each turn this is in your hand transform it into a 5-5 copy of a random legendary minion interesting <laughs> all right that, that'd be kind of fun to play around with it is shaman interesting but it doesn't have to be a legendary shaman minion I would imagine it's kind of fun though. Probably dusted. Who knows? People are gonna call out this VOD later and be like, remember when he said he was gonna dust Bander Smosh? Elemental Allies. Um, oh yeah, we saw it. Okay. Nothing new there. So a lot of this is just gonna be going through decks and then seeing what I can build out of it at the end. I'm excited to try all the different dragon variations. Um, I was a big Dragon Paladin fan back in the day, where it wasn't a top tier deck, but it was it was good enough that uh, I felt strong with it, um, and it was just a fun deck too. <laughs> Probably dust it. <laughs> you like the Bander Smosh? There's my second Sky Barge. That's good. Whoa! Three epics and a golden rare. Interesting. And two of the same epic. Well, that's a weird pack. Uh, draw a death rattle minion from your deck uh, and gain its death rattle. That could be really, um, really easy to abuse. That's neat. Hmm. I wonder if there's any like huge game breaking uh, death rattles that come super late, but they get really strong if you draw them around turn four or so. <coughs> It's a neat card to think about. Yeah. I was going to say, there's got to be a way to break that. You look at a card like that and there's, you think to yourself, there's got to be a way to break that. Dragon Breeder, seen that one before. Soul Flare. 
I'm not familiar with the Soul Flare. I'll have to look it up. Hold on, I'm gonna look up Soul Flare. Soul Flare. Oh, right, Hakar, yeah. Hmm. Hakar. Uh, oh, yeah. With the Corrupted Blood, I remember now. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah. If a car is the only death rattle card you put in there for rogue. Hmm. Seems abusable. Yep. Makes souffles. <laughs> uh, Lightforge Zealot. Uh, I like this card. Another uh, Highlander card. If your deck has no neutral cards, equip a four-two True Silver Champion. Pretty cool. The true silver champion was always a great back in the day. Alright. Now I just kind of I'm in the I'm in the zone now where I kinda of just want to burn through the rest of this and maybe play a couple games. Scion of Ruin. I love the art. Uh three for a three two rush. Battlecraft, you invoke twice, summon two copies of this. Ooh, that's kinda of neat. Potentially strong in situations. Soulfuls. Yeah, Mechanical Whelp and Cairn. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, there, I, I feel like there's got to be a way you can really uh, use that effectively. But then I'd have to play Rogue. Ooh, it's a legendary. It's Waxadred. Oh, it's a, it's a big dragon. Five for seven, five. Shuffle a candle into your deck that resummons Waxadred when drawn. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Yeah. So that's neat. A five with a seven five just comes back. Hey, talk about something to use with uh, that uh, minion. Suddenly you get uh, Waxadred popping up like that. There you go. Apothecary. All right. So uh, maybe I need to build an Apothecary deck then. But the question is, how do you, how do you uh, make Apothecary a consistent draw? Or how do you do, uh, how do you, is there a rogue standard that you could introduce the Apothecary uh, and then whatever death rattle you pair with the Apothecary element? Can you insert that as a unit into other rogue archetypes right now? That's what I'm wondering. Post a link. Um, you can, actually the best place to do links is if you join my Discord, um, you can post it in the other games channel. That's what I would recommend. Because I don't allow links in my Twitch chat, but um, you can do it in your Discord. Or in my Discord, rather. Uh, and I don't have that hooked up. My stream is terrible. But I will link... Um, I think I can link things in my own Discord. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see if I can find the link to my Discord really quick. Actually, the link to my Discord is on my Twitter. Um, oh, you linked it already. You got it. All right, cool. Let me let me check it. Let me look it up. Uh, Death Battle Rogue. Oh, okay. So people are already making this. Neat. All right, I will check that out after we finish fish opening packs. But thanks for the link. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, the link is posted below my stream. That's right. I remember that. You know, I I got all set to like stream a lot, and then Overwatch League just obliterated all of my stream time. Oh, by the way, check out this Cloud Nine shirt. This is a really cool shirt. I, I mean, I like I like their blue color, but I don't really enjoy wearing such a brightly colored shirt. But this is this is more my style, because so I think they have an awesome logo. I've always loved their uh, graphic design. Hey, thanks for the sub, Ryu Karai. Awesome, I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> I will attempt to get on the point. You have my word. Ramming speed, force a minion to attack one of his neighbors. Oh, that's just fun. That's just a cool card. I like that. Yeah, thank you for the sub. Did my uh, sub goal thing update? It did not. Why didn't it update? Why does my sub goal not uh, auto update? Weird. Well, whatever. I'll figure that out later. Like I said, my my stream uh, ended up getting a bit derailed by Overwatch League, but now here we are in the off season. I am. Uh, I'm kind of going back to the basics lately. I've been doing a lot of freelance stuff just because I've been missing casting other games. You know, I've been missing having more variety in my casting life. So I did TFT last week. I'm doing TFT again next week. Did League of Legends for Twitch. 
Check it out. It's Zaraku the Warped. 8 for 412. Whenever your hero takes damage, summon a 6-6 six, six Nether Drake. Hmm. That seems that seems abusable. It's kind of neat. Yeah. TFT, man. I love TFT. I uh, I will definitely be playing a lot more of it on stream. Um, the new the new patch that just came out with um, Senna and uh, and Lucian coming back, or Senna for the first time and Lucian returning again, uh, is very exciting. I love playing Rangers for whatever reason, and I I don't think Rangers, maybe I don't think Rangers are top tier yet, but I think you can actually work like four Rangers into other compositions right now. It's a lot of repeats at this point. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Mackenzie Lab 19? Yeah, range is much better. I, I won a game, actually. I won my first game on the new patch, uh, running uh, Ranger Inferno Shadow, I think it was. A Ranger Inferno Shadow Summoner, I want to say. And the funny thing is it popped off at level 7. I just sat at level 7 for the entire rest of the game until right before the very last round. I went to 8, and I ended up getting a Cloud Lux. So then I went into the last, uh, the very last round with everybody having 20% dodge, too, so that was great. Veiled Worshipper, 4 for 5, 3, you've invoked, draw 3 cards. Okay, cool. Chrono Breaker, we haven't seen this one yet. Death Rattle, if you're holding a dragon, deal 3 damage to all enemy minions. Ooh, alright. That seems like it could be strong. Yeah. I think, the thing is, is I think uh, what makes Rangers work is uh, Righteous Cause, uh, Summon 5 minions, give you minions plus 1 plus 1. Oh, that's kind of cool. That works with your hero power too, so that's solid. But um, as I open Hearthstone packs, let's talk about TFT. So what I think is one of the things that makes Rangers work better right now is a Mumu, uh, which, and I know he's not a Ranger, obviously, but he's Inferno Warden, which, which is great because um, obviously you can pair him with another Warden, which is nice, but uh, also the Inferno pairs really well with two Rangers, and then... From that, you can also go into Summoner, Inferno, and it just enables things, right? You can do a Summoner package with Inferno, you can do a, a Shadow package with Inferno, you can do a Ranger package with Inferno. But uh, allowing a Mumu to be one of your Inferno characters lets you do, like what I won with, it was Skarner and Mumu for my tanks. And then Ash, so Ash and Skarner had the Crystal buff, and then a Mumu, um, and I think, I don't think I was using Annie that game. I think it was just the two Inferno Rangers. Uh, Aeroponics. Draw two cards. Cost two less for each finger control. Oh, okay. That could be good. Token deck for sure. Um, yeah, so it was Varus and Kindred for the other Infernos. Cobalt Sticky Finger. Steal your opponent's weapon. That's, alright, probably not going to see a ton of use, but that's that's a fun card. Yeah. Isn't there a card that gives both players weapons? You just steal it away. Yeah, I think Amumu does unlock a lot. Yeah, You don't get him until late, but you can kind of anticipate for him. Uh, one of the compositions I've loved running for a long time is a Berserker Glacial um, Lightning. And uh, that just got just straight up buffed. Now that Lightning does a lot more damage. And so you can see a, a big difference when you have that Volibear um, Orn combo early on. And then you do something crazy like turn Orn into a Glacial or turn Orn into a Berserker. And then he just opens up another slot to put something else in like a Lux later on to get like an easy 2 buff or something. Yeah. That's neat. Did I miss one I hadn't seen before? Yeah. It doesn't say damage on your turn. Oh, that's a very good point. For that dragon? Yeah. That could be crazy. Sometimes I click a card and it doesn't turn over. Uh, Alright. Just kind of going through this quickly. See if we can get to the, uh, get to the deck building. I think I want to try that Death Rattle Rogue, though. I just haven't played Rogue for a long time. I'm just not a very... I've never been a great Rogue player, so I've always kind of avoided it. But I've already got, like, Golden Warrior and everything, so maybe it's time to, to try a new class. Or put more time into a new class, I should say.
Uh, epic. Rolling Fireball. Here's one we haven't seen yet. Uh, deal 8 damage to a minion. Any excess damage continues to the left or right. Huh. All right. Is that left or right conditional on if there are minions there, or does it randomly go? Um, and you might just miss things. I would imagine it follows the minions, perhaps, but this is one that you might have to be careful about how you aim. I'm not sure, though, how it works. Maybe someone can explain that. But 8 damage for 5, min or for five mana and potentially doing more, or potentially spreading that 8 damage across multiple minions could be really solid. Could be good. Legendary? Nope. Question is, how much dust am, am I going to have at the end of all this? Faceless Corruptor, uh, transform one of your minions into a copy of this. Hmm. That might, it's it's all classes, so you could use it on some small tokens, or you could use it on a, a summoned guy from Paladin, so then, then maybe you can find use for that. Maybe. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I I know the expansion came out two days ago, but I've just been doing non-stop meetings for the last two days, so I haven't had any time. This is the first time I've had a chance to sit down and actually open packs. Finally. Uh, finally getting time to open packs. Okay. Rain of Fire. Deal one damage to all characters. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I suppose it's a good damage to yourself to get something out, to buff something in some way, and a little bit of damage on your opponent, so whatever. Um, Corrupt Elementalist, invoke Galakron twice. That's cool. Hmm. Hmm, Depth Charge. Oh, neutral. At the start of your turn, deal five damage to all minions. Wow. Huh, that is interesting. All right. It's kind of like a, a, a mini, um, what was it called? The uh, the dude that was a 0-7 that blew everything up. Doomsayer, that's what it was, yeah. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. A presence I've not felt since. Uh, ramming speed, all right. Breath of the Infinite, two damage all minions. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, Control Warrior has always been one of my favorite decks. Um, I like aggressive decks too, but uh, Control Warrior always seemed like the deck that tested me the most, where you really had to use every card at just the right time when you were playing at a, a higher level. Lower level, you could just spam stuff and be like, LOL, I'm not dying, but at a high level, it got really in intense. Yeah, Control Warrior is still easily my favorite deck of all time. Any variation of it. For a while, I was playing Cthulhu Warrior instead, and uh, I think uh, the um, Dark Iron Dwarf Warrior, the Get In Here Warrior, offered a nice uh, micro challenge, <laughs> so I played that for a while. Uh, and you had to be very good about your ordering and uh, positioning for that. Patron Warrior, that's right. Grim Patron. Yeah. All right, almost done. One more legendary. Can we get one more legendary in these last five? I think I've only gotten three so far. Time rip. Patreon warrior. <laughs> Should that just be my name on if I do a Patreon? Should I just be the Patreon warrior? Somebody probably already took that. Everyone, get in here! Oh, there's a legendary, Chanvala. A mage legendary. After you cast three spells in a turn, summon a 5-5 five, five elemental. Oh, it's a nice early game legendary. I like that. That's cool. That gives you something to kind of build around. That's neat. Cool. Yeah, that'll be a fun one to include in some decks. Now nah, I'll just dust it. I'm kidding. I'm not going to dust it. Not yet. Not yet. Not going to dust it yet. There's a cat raw for you. It's a cat with white raw from StarCraft's face. That I made, I made years and years ago. Guys, we're done. We've opened 100 packs. Hooray. I'm going to say uh, 
thanks for watching this VOD, and I didn't really talk much about the cards. I talked about TFT a lot, um, but GG.